78% of suicide rates worldwide are men, what can we do to help them? To actually understand men. Most of us aren't pedophiles or rapists. We have feelings. We aren't just a mindless block of muscle you can find at your local Walmart. Legalize and destigmatize prostitution. Sometimes all these guys need is a little human contact to avert the worst impulses. Decrease gender roles. We are on earth for one life why waste it doing what others say or regressing to previous norms where men can't talk out feelings or show weakness, and that goes for gender roles against women too. Make food and shelter a right, establish universal basic income and stop the privatization of public spaces. Then make it easy to start volunteer organizations. The effects of poverty are the real killers, with a lack of opportunities to be seen by your local communities as somebody living a dignified life and getting some validation for it a close second. The lack of meaningful personal interaction will resolve itself when you got that covered. Help them communicate and tell them it's totally normal to have feelings, to be vulnerable and to cry because they're human too. Stop the men don't cry bullshit. Befriend them and listen to them. I personally don't have a male close friend and I wish I had one honestly. Legalize prostitution. More lenient gun laws. Easier access to barbiturates. I think a huge part of the problem is that no one understands how to be happy. Being happy doesn't mean having everything you want or everything going your way. It's being content knowing that you're working on your problems, be they financial, social, etc., and realizing that you aren't a line in being imperfect, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't keep striving to better yourself. Everyone seems to want everything to be perfect without putting in the work and when that perfection fails to materialize, they think everyone else is better off than them and is, therefore, a better person than them. If everyone could internally process and understand the statement, there are a lot of people that are worse off than I am, I believe there would be a lot fewer unhappy people. Stop the feminists who take it too far and think that men are emotionless monsters and treat them as such. I'm in college but a lot of my closer friends have graduated already. Whenever they visit we sit around and play Catan, fantastic strategy game for those unfamiliar. In the company where guys can be guys everyone can find some sort of bliss with a few friends. This does however not mean that there are more suicidal men than women. Male suicide attempts more often end fatally as men generally use more radical methods. There should be more outreach towards both sexes. Source, I'm a psychologist specialized in suicidality don't know that I can help you other than treating the men in my life with kindness and compassion. Thank you for thinking of men. Stop saying man up and that stuff, offer them emotional support, men have insecurities as much as women do. Stop stigmatizing a man asking for help. Sex reassessment operations. So many reasons this rate is up. A big one has to do with our horrible culture in the West currently. First and foremost, cut it out with the toxic feminism. Then stop trying to feminize boys and give them the rights of passage to become strong, well-adjusted good men. Boys need fathers and strong male role models. Men are wonderful. They need to hear it more often and also be given a space to be heard. Women who say they want a sensitive guy are not satisfied with that. And if a guy opens up and is vulnerable, most women don't actually want to hear it. This directly from a good number of close male friends. Men of the world. I love you and I am so grateful for you. I love being a woman and appreciate all of the good men in my life. Stop telling us to man up. Coping methods. Stop reinforcing gender roles. The man is not the stoic rock that always stays strong when everyone else crumbles. Don't tell guys it's girly or unmanly to cry. And hashtag X200B. This leads to men not sharing and exposing their feelings with other men. Some will only reveal themselves emotionally to women, which often ends up mixed up with romantic feelings. And even worse, many don't share their feelings, their fears, their doubts, with anyone at all. And hashtag X200B. Because a man showing any kind of vulnerability or seeking help is a big no-no. 
date us. Compliment them more. Men get so few compliments and can really lead to low self-worth. Not to mention they'll remember a compliment forever. Don't boil down helping them out to just saying, man up. Many suicides are due to financial hardship. Increased wages for workers and universal health care, to prevent medical bankruptcies, would help greatly in the US. Stop telling men with depression to man up. Honestly just whatever they need that we can provide. Stop being dicks to people. Anyone needs to talk HMU. I might not be very good at advice but I'll listen and I'll try anyways so, woman shrugging. Compliment them. Most men are so starved for positive attention that a compliment is all it takes to get them interested in you. Make it so it's socially acceptable for men to cry or have problems, so they aren't berated for it edit, this is called toxic masculinity which is indeed an issue in society. Sonic Mania's soundtrack. Treat their mental health seriously. When they are struggling with a problem the only advice that is given to them to man up. Which, in my opinion, they have and they just need actual help. Make cat girls. More wildly accessible hentai. Slash s. End global capitalism as we know it, it's what's chewing up all those men, and it's what co-opted the issue to shift the onus onto the level of the individual or smaller groups. Air I mean we need more underfunded support groups and toxic online movements, they'll do the trick. Slash s. Teach your sons, and daughters, that it's okay to cry. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to admit you're wrong, to cut your losses, and to do things a different way. Delete sexism or make more females commit Lego step. Just order your own damn fries. Please. Don't ask for experience when someone is trying to get work experience so that they have experience to work. Very strongly encourage your male friends, family, and romantic partners to seek counseling. Destigmatize talking to therapists and expressing emotions. Being able to verbalize your feelings is such an important tool in managing emotions. You need to consider the age group of men committing suicide. 50 to 60 years old is hot as hell for just ending it all. You get to this age my age, and life is very different. Kids have grown up and maybe left home, your job has become mundane and unexciting, your body starts to fall apart, your virility dies, relationships can be stale, you've seen pretty much all life has to give and the future is bleak. Your general health isn't getting better, opportunities are non-existent and no one really wants to know an old man aside from your kids who you hardly ever see because modern life is stretched out and blurred. For all intents and purposes you're done spent, used up, and it's easy to get into a nihilistic mindset where everything would be better off if you weren't around. Suicide can seem like a nice warm bed that you get into and never need to get out of. An end to life under your control and not the one you've seen your grandparents and parents go through. You know it's your turn next and wasting away in a home or bed isn't a hugely appealing prospect and with every year that passes that thought becomes more of a reality. Contemplating one's demise is never pleasant and it doesn't mean a lot until you get past 50 and enter the death zone. There's no fix for it really, some people can't deal with that level of existentialism, others accept their fate and let nature take its course. I do feel that the media has a lot to answer for by creating a scenario, a narrative and a pathway that's essentially a fiction. My dad, late 70s, recently joined a men in sheds group. These guys meet up every week to socialize and they're teaching DIY skills to younger people who've never had anyone to teach them how to put up a shelf or bleed a radiator etc. He's been very lonely since his best friend died a few years ago and it's wonderful to see him perk up and socialize again. These supportive groups make a huge difference to men of all ages. Not raising them as emotional zombies. Legalize same-sex marriage in more countries as part of a wider acceptance for gay men. We men have to teach our sons to have feelings and express them in a healthy way. Bottling it up until you kill yourself isn't healthy. But men are taught what to be by other men. Just like women are taught how to be by women. Example, women don't dress up for men, they dress up so they don't lose face in the eyes of the other women they may encounter. 
men could care less if their woman wears pajama pants to the store. Similarly, women want their men to have healthy emotional communication, to open up and share their thoughts, fears, insecurities. Unfortunately, we know men don't cry or show vulnerability. We know it because we've been taught it by every man we've ever met. We continue the act of masculinity in our own lives every day. We mock and shun those who don't join in. The only way to keep your guys from adding to this statistic is to teach them from a young age it's okay to be human. Unfortunately, as every man knows, it's not okay. You have to be Superman. Gender roles are double-edged swords. We don't get the luxury of an emotional support system. But we get paid more and raped less so, you know, take the bad with the good so.